When it comes to the leading causes of death in the United States of America, did you know that liver disease ranks 12th? Digestion, detoxification of the body, and the processing of nutrients are all handled by the liver, which is an essential organ. In spite of the fact that liver disease may be inherited, there are other factors such as viruses, excessive alcohol consumption, and extreme obesity that may also cause damage. If you are aware of the symptoms of a damaged liver, however, you will be able to receive treatment at an earlier stage rather than later. In today's video, we're diving deep into the 12 early signs of liver diseases that require identification in time. Also, stick to the end of the video and we will identify the symptoms that generally point to a specific liver problem. 1. Jaundice – yellowing of the skin and eyes When red blood cells complete their life cycle, typically around 120 days, they are broken down in a process that liberates bilirubin, a yellow pigment. This bilirubin is then transported in the bloodstream to the liver, where it's meant to be processed and made water-soluble so it may be easily excreted in bile, a digestive fluid produced by the liver. Bile flows into the intestines, eventually exiting the body through feces, which is what gives them their characteristic brown color. However, when the liver's functionality is impaired due to conditions such as hepatitis, cirrhosis, or bile duct blockages, its ability to process and excrete bilirubin is compromised. This failure leads to an accumulation of bilirubin in the blood, a condition known as hyperbilirubinemia. As bilirubin levels rise, it starts depositing in the skin, mucous membranes, and sclera, the whites of the eyes, bestowing upon them a distinct yellow tint, a condition recognized as jaundice. A study also suggests that excessive alcohol consumption may contribute to jaundice. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish, nuts, and seeds are recommended for their anti-inflammatory properties, which may help ameliorate liver inflammation. Processed foods, high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats should be minimized as they may exacerbate liver stress and contribute to fatty liver disease. 2. Abdominal pain and swelling. Liver disease may set off a chain of inflammatory responses within the body. This inflammation is the liver's reaction to injury or disease, and it may manifest as discomfort or pain in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen, where the liver is located. In the early stages of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, fat accumulates in the cells of the liver, which results in hepatomegaly, in enlargement of the liver. It may result in discomfort or a dull ache in the place where the liver is situated. Apart from that, ascites is the medical term for the accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity, the space within the abdomen that houses various organs. This condition primarily results from the liver's reduced ability to produce albumin, a protein that helps retain fluid within the bloodstream. Overall, up to 50% of patients with cirrhosis have reported abdominal bloating and 24% have reported abdominal pain. There is some evidence that including turmeric in one's diet as part of a healthy regimen may lessen the severity of abdominal pain brought on by liver damage. The active component curcumin, which may be found in turmeric, is responsible for the spice's powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Do you find this information helpful? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for more health secrets and tips. 3. Chronic fatigue Unexplained, persistent fatigue stands as one of the more subtle yet significantly impactful. 
indicators of liver dysfunction. A healthy liver plays a pivotal role in converting glucose into glycogen and storing it for when the body needs energy. Liver dysfunction may disrupt this balance, leading to fluctuating blood sugar levels, which directly affect energy levels. Cirrhosis is advanced scarring of the liver tissue and is often associated with significant fatigue. If your liver is damaged, it may change the way blood flows, which could mean that your tissues do not get as much oxygen and blood. This may make you feel tired. In a study with 126 liver disease patients, researchers found that those with more severe liver damage were more likely to have sleep apnea, a condition where breathing stops and starts during sleep, which compounds the fatigue already experienced during the day. Adding brisk walking, jogging or swimming to your routine may help with this condition by giving you more energy and improving the health of your liver. Additionally, it aids in weight management, reducing the strain on the liver and preventing further damage. 4. Dark Urine While dark urine may sometimes be attributed to dehydration, where the kidneys conserve water, resulting in more concentrated urine, the distinction here is the underlying cause. When the liver is compromised, the inefficiency may lead to an accumulation of bilirubin in the blood, a condition known as hyperbilirubinemia. Over time, it starts to spill over into the urine, giving it a much darker color than usual. This dark urine, sometimes described as tea-colored, may be one of the first tangible signs of liver dysfunction. 5. Pale, bloody or tar-colored stool Pale or light-colored stools may occur when there's a decrease in bile production or an obstruction in the bile ducts, preventing bile from reaching the intestines. Without sufficient bile, the stool loses its typical brown coloration, becoming much lighter in shade. Additionally, stercobilin, a substance that results from the breakdown of bilirubin in the intestines, is what gives stools their distinctive brown color. When there is insufficient bilirubin due to liver damage, stercobilin production decreases, resulting in pale stools. Blood-streaked stools, while sometimes resulting from relatively benign causes like hemorrhoids, may also indicate more severe issues when coupled with liver disease. For instance, increased pressure in the portal vein. Portal hypertension, due to liver cirrhosis, may lead to bleeding in the digestive tract. A diet low in saturated fats, high in fiber, and rich in antioxidants, found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, may help maintain liver function and promote overall health. Rich in monounsaturated fats, including avocados in your diet, may help maintain healthy bile secretion, potentially normalizing stool color. However, if the symptom persists, a healthcare professional should assess it. 6. Itchy skin Persistent itchiness, medically referred to as pruritus, may be a distressing symptom for individuals with liver disease, significantly impacting their quality of life. In a healthy liver, bile salts are excreted into the intestines and eventually leave the body through feces. However, when liver function is impaired, the flow of bile into the intestines may be hindered. This obstruction leads to an accumulation of bile salts in the bloodstream which may then deposit in the skin, causing persistent and sometimes severe itchiness. In cases of liver damage, histamine, a compound associated with allergic responses and itching, may be released at higher levels, adding to the discomfort of itchy skin. In addition to medical treatment, certain lifestyle and home remedies may help alleviate the itchiness. Bathing in lukewarm water 
and using mild soaps may soothe irritated skin. Cooling lotions or creams that contain menthol or calamine may also provide temporary relief. A study suggests that oatmeal-based products may provide relief from itching associated with various skin conditions. 7. Nausea or vomiting Feeling constantly nauseous or experiencing vomiting may serve as significant indicators of liver distress. The liver plays a pivotal role in metabolizing and neutralizing various substances, including environmental toxins, metabolic byproducts, and excess hormones. When the liver is impaired due to conditions such as hepatitis, cirrhosis, or fatty liver disease, its ability to efficiently process and eliminate these substances is reduced. It leads to the accumulation of toxins and waste products in the bloodstream, which may trigger the brain's chemoreceptor trigger zone, an area responsible for inducing nausea and vomiting as a response to toxins. If you are in search of an effective home remedy for nausea, ginger tea might be a solution. Ginger contains bioactive compounds like gingerol, which may have anti-nausea and anti-inflammatory properties. Eating smaller, more frequent meals may ease the digestive process, minimizing gastrointestinal discomfort. Staying hydrated and avoiding fatty, spicy or acidic foods may also help manage nausea. 8. Loss of appetite Nausea, as discussed earlier, plays a significant role in this decreased appetite. The feeling of being unwell or on the verge of vomiting may make the idea of eating unappealing, contributing to a reduction in food intake. Apart from that, digestive issues associated with liver disease also contribute to a decreased desire to eat. The liver produces bile, which is essential for fat digestion. In liver disease, if bile production or flow is hindered, it may lead to difficulties digesting fatty foods, resulting in discomfort, bloating and a feeling of fullness after only small amounts of food. To stimulate your appetite and support liver function, consider incorporating artichokes into your diet. Artichokes contain a compound called cinerin, which may improve digestion and appetite. A study found that artichoke extract may aid in reviving your appetite while providing potential benefits to your liver. 9. Easy bruising or bleeding the liver's role in producing proteins called prothrombin, known as clotting factors, is vital for the complex process that enables blood to form clots and stop bleeding when injuries occur. When the liver is healthy, it maintains a delicate balance, producing adequate amounts of clotting factors by synthesizing vitamin K to prevent both excessive bleeding and clotting. However, Liver damage may significantly impair the production of these factors. This reduction undermines the body's clotting mechanism, making it less efficient at stopping bleeding. As a result, individuals with liver damage may notice that they bruise more easily than before or that it takes longer for bleeding to stop from even minor cuts or injuries. The consumption of leafy green vegetables high in vitamin K, such as broccoli, spinach and kale, may be associated with improved blood clotting, as well as a strengthening of the blood vessels, which in turn reduces the likelihood of easily bruising. 10. Swollen legs and ankles. Edema. Edema. The medical term for swelling caused by fluid accumulation in the body's tissues is a common complication associated with liver disease. This condition often manifests in the lower extremities, such as the legs and ankles, but may also affect other parts of the body. Oncotic pressure is a form of osmotic pressure 
exerted by proteins in the blood plasma that helps retain fluid within the circulatory system. When the liver is damaged, its ability to produce albumin decreases, leading to a reduction in oncotic pressure. This reduction allows fluid to escape from the blood vessels into the surrounding tissues, resulting in edema. Furthermore, liver disease may cause portal hypertension, which is an increase in blood pressure within the portal venous system. This increased pressure further encourages the movement of fluid from the blood vessels into the surrounding tissues, exacerbating the swelling. It is essential to cut back on sodium consumption in order to manage this symptom. In order to maintain a healthy body, the daily intake of sodium should be less than 2300 milligrams. 11. Confusion or difficulty thinking, hepatic encephalopathy. In a healthy liver, ammonia is converted to urea, which is then safely excreted by the kidneys. However, in liver disease, this conversion process is impaired. Ammonia is neurotoxic at high concentrations and may cross the blood-brain barrier where it interferes with neurotransmitter function and disrupts brain cell metabolism and signaling, leading to the cognitive and neurological symptoms of hepatic encephalopathy. In hepatic encephalopathy, the significant impact is on astrocytes, the brain support cells, rather than on the neurons, nerve cells. These astrocytes maintain the fluid around neurons and manage brain chemicals and minerals. Their altered function affects the brain's overall functioning, but it does not cause any substantial loss or structural damage to the neurons themselves. Dietary changes, particularly reducing protein intake, may help lower ammonia levels, though this approach must be balanced to avoid malnutrition. 12. Spider angiomas. Spider angiomas, also known as spider nevi, are small, web-like clusters of blood vessels that become visible on the surface of the skin. These are often found on the face, neck, upper chest and arms. When the liver is compromised due to conditions such as cirrhosis, hepatitis or alcohol-related liver damage, it loses its efficiency in breaking down and clearing hormones from the blood. This inefficiency leads to hormonal imbalances, notably an increase in circulating estrogen, which is thought to cause the dilation of blood vessels, resulting in the formation of spider angiomas. How do you identify liver disease based on the symptoms? There are several types of liver diseases, each with its own set of causes and associated symptoms. 1. Hepatitis Viral infections Hepatitis A, B, C, D and E may cause liver inflammation. Symptoms may include jaundice, fatigue and abdominal pain. Chronic hepatitis may lead to more severe liver damage, like cirrhosis. 2. Alcoholic liver disease, ALD. It is caused by excessive alcohol consumption. Early signs include fatigue and abdominal pain. Advanced ALD may lead to jaundice, easy bruising or bleeding, and ascites, fluid accumulation. 3. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. NAFLD. This type of liver issue is linked to obesity, diabetes, and high cholesterol. Patients might experience fatigue and pain in the upper right abdomen. Advanced NAFLD may progress to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, cirrhosis, and liver cancer. 4. Cirrhosis. It is mainly scarring of the liver due to chronic liver disease. Symptoms include jaundice, itchy skin, 
swelling in the legs and abdomen, edema and ascites, and hepatic encephalopathy, confusion and difficulty thinking. 5. Liver Cancer It may develop after years of liver disease, especially cirrhosis. Symptoms might include weight loss, upper abdominal pain and swelling, as well as jaundice in later stages. Recognizing these 12 distinct signs of liver damage is crucial for early intervention and maintaining overall health. The liver is a multitasking organ with critical functions, and damage to it may disrupt these functions, leading to a cascade of health issues and potentially life-threatening conditions. Remember that consulting a healthcare professional is a must for an accurate diagnosis of liver damage. Now that we have discussed the many warning signs of liver disease, there are always other signs of health we should look out for. From kidneys to pancreas. Interested in learning more? Watch. Save your kidneys from damage by eating these 13 foods. Or watch. Nine foods you must eat to save your pancreas from damage. Watch one. Or even better, watch both. Will you be taking more care of your liver health from now on? Let us know in the comments below.